Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're gonna learn about the setup for two different workflows, two simple workflows for Darkroom Core. One of them being uh, capture an image and then uh, choose which one and then print a package. Or, and then the second one would be capture an image and automatically print. So the first option gives you the option to choose the picture and then edit it a little bit. But if you're doing all of that in camera, making sure you shoot right every time, then the auto print option is much quicker and might be what you need for your event. So let's go ahead and get started. I have Darkroom Core up, a brand new catalog created. I went to new and then created the catalog. Um, but other than that, nothing is set up. My camera is detected just because it's on. And when you start the software, it looks for the camera. But uh, I have a printer, a DS40, connected to my printer has not been set up yet. So let's first work on that. You can see um, if you haven't turned on your camera yet, go ahead and turn it on now and then click detect camera and it should show your camera here as long as it's a supported camera. Next thing we're gonna do is go to our printer options and I'm gonna click add printer and find my printer in the list. If I don't see it, right down here is a Windows printer and then I can, you can select any Windows printer driver. But I'm gonna click add printer for my DS40 it looks like I have 6x8 media in there. That's always something really good to check because a lot of times people will print 4x6 and it's wasting half of the ribbon thinking they have their 4x6 media in and uh, it's actually 6x8. So um, go ahead and click OK. Now that our printer and camera are detected, we're going to set up a package and I'm going to create a brand new group so you can see how to do it from scratch. This is going to be for a um it's gonna be six by eight because that's the media i have in the printer so but more than likely you would be setting this up for four by six five by seven and sometimes six by eight um so six by eight and i'll also do four by six just so you can see how it's set up um and oops this group is uh events so this is the 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 whole offering that you're you're doing so uh, a lot of times people name the group the print size and then add multiple print sizes or think they need multiple groups so events um, packages and now i'm going to select package one which is going to be my six by eight and i like using the quick print option what it does is it sends it directly to the printer um, I'm going to uncheck that for now so you can see what happens with six uh, with the six by eight, but for the four by six, I'll actually enable that. So we have it, we're giving away it at no cost. If you wanna add a price, you can, uh, but just for event printing, typically you're not uh, doing invoices. So all print sizes, we're gonna change this to eight inch and then scroll down to six by eight. So my six by eight package is set up. Um, I'm gonna add another package. This is gonna be my four by six. Uh, and I'm gonna set that one for quick print. And that's gonna go straight to the printer without any delay. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap the two because you won't be able to hear it automatically start printing. So no quick print, but we'll go over both and what each one does. Uh, so 4x6, change this to 6 inch prints, and there's my 4x6, and then we said 6x8, we're going to add quick print. So uh, just real quick, a la carte is if you had, let's say, different sizes, that's where it comes in really helpful. Um, you can say uh, a t-shirt, and then under a la carte you have small, medium, large if you're doing like t-shirts or something that might have different options to choose from. But, um, okay, so I have my package set up, my printer set up, my camera set up. I am ready to go. 
I am going to go to my photo workshop and I'm gonna take a picture. And it's very possible my camera is set as capturing in raw. Okay, so let's say that wasn't that great a picture. Take a couple. And here we go. We got the picture we want. Um, I can then uh, zoom in, crop in, if I wanted to look over borders in a different um, uh, video. But let's say I wanted to actually do some sort of design. I can then drop in my pictures and do minor editing and then send it to, whoops. Now, as you can see, I have different packages right here. So what I want to do is go add package, change default package, and then select the one I just created. So there's my four by six and six by eight. This one's quick print. So as soon as I click here, it should start printing. So there it goes. It's going to pop out of my printer in just a moment. So I'm going to click N to turn off that template. And we can, the difference between the quick print and the non-checked version, uh, is if I click four by six, it's going to add it to the cart. And then at that point I would place the order or save the order. So if it put click place, um, it would then go to, and I don't think I have a four by six printer set up currently. So at this time point, it would typically say, uh, um, waiting for four by six or something along those lines. So, um, we'll go ahead and cancel that. Before we get into the auto printing option, I want to go over one other uh, thing that we kind of tapped on uh, briefly, um, templates. So if you wanted to add your own template, um, we'll just look at a few real quick. These are the sample templates. Um, let's say you wanted to add in the, the event uh, information. This one has simple text. Um, being that I have a green screen behind me, I'll go ahead and add a, uh, a green screen template to my package. So I go back to my packages, select my four by six and tell it to always use this package uh, template. Sample templates. Green screen and there we go. So it's always gonna apply that template um, when I use that package and once again, it's always important to test it. So click our four by six and you can see it's a vertical template. So it's automatically going to crop down to vertical, but if we, uh, save it and look at it in the orders tab, we can see there's, uh, with a green screen background. That's how you'd add a template to a package. So as soon as you click on the package it automatically prints and these numbers you'll see one through nine and those numbers specifically correspond with the numbers on your 10 key or your um, number keypad on the right side and that's what it's there for you can just click number two and oops ah. I have color control so just in case this happens to you I believe it's under general settings Use new merit keep uh, merit keypad for color controls. So I'm gonna just uncheck that and see if it works now. Now, whenever I click number two, it adds that option. So one other thing that you would have noticed is every time I click on it, it asks me how many copies. If you're only doing one copy, that might not be uh, very helpful. So under. Uh, general settings you can uncheck prompt for copies and now we'll clear this when we click number two it adds it to the cart if i hit enter it then is going to place the order um, now one more time we've run into something else that's a little that we don't necessarily need so from it um, receipt options 
show order confirmation. If you don't want that receipt to show up, uncheck that option under your receipt options. Let's try that one more time. Number two, and then enter. And now that's added to your uh, cart. Uh, or it should start printing at that point. So the difference between quick print where you just click it, it doesn't even go into the shopping cart, it goes straight to the printer versus the cart with a couple other options that you can either enable or disable. But uh, use your numeric keypad to order packages. So that's five copies and then enter and that's gonna send it to here. And it says waiting on four by six and there's my five copies. So next up, we're gonna switch over to a similar workflow works very similar similarly um, it is the auto print option so under camera options and then auto print I can check this box to always print and we're just gonna stay with 4x6 just so it doesn't come out of the printer and make a whole bunch of noise um, I can do the same thing so we'll go with green screen and we'll go with this uh, tiki background I think um, and so now whenever you click the shutter release button it will capture an image and send it to uh, print automatically and we can go ahead and try that now I'm using a remote camera that's kind of a little bit further away from me right behind the camera you're currently looking at um, so I'm using the take uh, picture button or my uh, spacebar to actually capture the image, but it would work the exact same way if you're using the shutter release on your actual camera. So you can see that's the image that was just captured and uh, cancel printing. There it is automatically with that background on it. Um, and that's kind of the auto print function. Okay, so let's say you're in an event and you just want to share images. You don't necessarily want to print or if you want to print and, and share, um, we have an option event gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove this because I don't actually have a four by six printer set up. But if you did, uh, you can do both at the same time. Um, we'll remove, click add, browse to digital delivery products. There's event gallery post. Now, I have uh, Event Gallery already set up. So it goes to a um, correct gallery. Make sure we choose our um, green screen template. Just for fun, we'll switch it over to the beach one. Okay. And let's test that out. So now, once again, we're still not using packages. Um, let's say you wanted to share with email. That's where a package would come in handy. But if you just wanted to, every picture you take, upload and print, or in this case, just upload, all I have to do is capture a new image and it'll send it over to my orders. I'm not doing anything with packages. Um, and you can see it's already left my new orders. So if I go to um, my there's the image already uploaded and it should work pretty quickly we can test that out by capturing a new image and then refreshing you can see how quickly it actually processes that's pretty impressive uh i didn't know that it actually go that fast so that is two different workflows um i have another workflow I can do next if you guys want to see using uh, uh, shooting with uh, QR codes like where you um, let's say you're at an event and uh, similar that, to what you would uh, experience at a amusement park capture the code capture the image it, image is then assigned to this code so whenever this code is scanned later um, it has their pictures and if there are multiple photography stations they can scan their code and they can keep that same QR code, in this case a sticker, but uh, could also be a um, business card. This was actually meant for 
to go to stick to the back of a three and a half by five uh, handout. If you guys would like to see that workflow, uh, let me know in the comments. Until the next video, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. Be sure to like, subscribe, but more importantly, if there's something you want to learn a little bit more about, comment below this video and I'll do my best to add it as a future video. I'll see you in the next one.